everybody, it is Tuesday. I hope that you are all having a really good day so far. Even though it is so sunny outside, it's actually still pretty cold. I think it's only getting up to like 19 degrees today. As you would have seen earlier on, I actually took Diesel for a really nice walk and I think the fresh air did us both good. So I'm glad that we went. I'm currently just waiting for the food shop to arrive, but I thought I would show you what I got for Kyle's Nan. I need to wrap her present, which is down here. So I thought we could do that together. Kyle's Nan from his mum's side and his pop from his dad's side both have the same birthday as him. Kyle's pop actually lives just down the road. So his nana, pop, uncle, auntie and little cousin all came over on Thursday night and we had a barbecue for dinner but we all sat inside because it was way too cold out there. Yeah, it was just really nice to have people over. Diesel was the centre of attention as per usual and let's face it, he just loves visitors. Even when we have parcels delivered, he howls at the door because he thinks that the delivery guy is coming here to see him. So he's always quite excited when he sees someone new or when family come to stay. So last weekend, not the one just gone, we went to the aquarium on the Sunshine Coast with my sister Jamie and her three boys, our three nephews. And we had such a nice day. It was pouring down rain, but it didn't matter because we were inside most of the time. And then we walked over to, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's like, this really nice pub and it shares the same car park as the aquarium so we went in there and had a really nice lunch and then Jamie and the two younger boys came to stay with us yeah they just kept me really busy so we're actually here for Kyle's birthday which was Wednesday and the boys were so cute they wrote him a birthday card and got him a gift card which I know is really special to him. So I think we're all caught up now. I'll show you what I got for Kyle's Nen. So I got her this pair of like crossover slippers and they are the softest thing I have ever felt. Hopefully I got the right size. Something tells me she is a size 8 so I got the medium to large. So even if she was like a 7 I feel like they should still fit and they'll keep her feet nice and cozy. They were $25. Don't think these were on sale, I dare. I think they still have their sale on, but they did when I bought this stuff. I feel like maybe the slippers were full price. Also from Adairs, I got this really soft grey row blanket and it's got like this white texture to it as well it's really soft so hopefully she likes that as well and it kind of matches with the slippers and then the other thing that i got kyle's nan is this pink jasmine and spice triple wick candle and i just really liked the little like container bowl thing that it comes in um once the candle is burnt, that could be used for like keeping jewellery or something and it's really nice. It's from Kmart and I think it cost $12. Oh, I didn't say the throw blanket was $50 but I think it was on sale for like 20% off or something. Maybe? I actually just remembered I had kept this box from a parcel so how convenient would that be if the candle fits in there it will make it so much easier to wrap oh, yes look at that I don't have any tissue paper I don't think she'll mind the box is just I'm gonna get thrown out anyway, isn't it?
I'm going to leave them here with her card because I always get Kyle to write in cards for his grandparents and people from his side of the family. I just think it's nicer. Obviously he puts from both of us but yeah. I just realised I took the price sticker off and it's left a mark. It's way more noticeable on camera. She'll still like it. Wow Diesel, was that exciting? You sure did enjoy that, didn't you? Oh, excuse you. Let's go downstairs, come on. I am very excited because I just had a message to say the food shop is on its way and I'm actually really, really hungry. It's like lunchtime, so that's perfect. I was actually thinking about having one or two baked potatoes for lunch, so I'll be able to put those in. I'll show you what I've got when it gets here. We'll see if Diesel howls at the door because, you know, getting a delivery. Someone's excited for the food delivery. There's nothing in there for you. There's nothing for you. All right, put this away. Are you helping me clean it? Oh, thank you, Diesel. few different things from last time so I'll go over everything these are gluten-free chicken tenders they come frozen they're quite expensive but Kyle absolutely loves them so I can make a few different meals for him out of them got some big old potatoes I've never tried these ones I needed some larger ones to make baked potatoes so I thought we might try these they didn't really have any big bags on special this week but we're, we're also having some mash on one of the nights as well mine and diesel's favorite perino tomatoes basil oh it smells so good i bought this because i had to cut back our basil when i moved it into the veggie patch there's not quite enough leaves to eat just yet we've got some carrots What's in here? Three avocados. Oh, they're all like rock hard. Okay, I might leave one of those out on the bench. I've got wholemeal bread for me and gluten-free bread for Kyle. I've also got these wholemeal pitters or wraps and then for Kyle gluten free ones because I thought it might be fun to make some quesadillas one night. Organic large free range eggs. Some Dolmio pasta sauce. This one is really nice with the Aldi meatballs. They're like the vegetarian version. Love it. I got some organic almond milk to try 
this Hana hazelnut spread. It was on special. It's still quite expensive. I think it was like seven dollars But it's a little bit better for you Than Nutella and it tastes almost exactly the same I got this because I thought that Kyle and I could make some waffles one morning um, We bought a waffle mix from Nodo I think it's called and It's really yummy this will just go with that perfectly. Got some taco seasoning. I'll probably put that in the quesadillas because I've got some black beans to go with that. Just a few work snacks for Kyle. Some of these little bliss ball things. Mini chocolate coated rice cakes. He loves those. I also got him the sweet and salty popcorn because he really likes that. For our baked potatoes, light sour cream. Whoa, I did not realize how big this thing of Greek style yogurt was going to be. But that's okay because it's used by is the 15th of the 8th and I'm pretty sure Mitchell likes this for breakfast. He's coming this weekend. So I'll let him know that's in the fridge. He can have it with some fruit. I got these falafel bites to try. I was just really feeling like I wanted for lunch one day some falafel bites. I probably would have preferred uh, pita, but I've already got these. And I know I won't use all eight of them for quesadillas. So I might do... Some of those in there with, with um, some lettuce and I've got a beetroot hummus in the fridge so I can put that in as well. I was going to have baked potato for lunch but I think I want this. It's a lot faster. We can have baked potato for dinner. It, that sounds good to me. I just got an apple and black currant juice. Some organic bathroom cleaner. This is lemongrass and myrtle. It smells really nice. It's kind of a citrusy smell, but like a nice citrusy smell. Look at the size of those blueberries. They're huge. I did try to order strawberries as well, but they've actually sold out. So Kyle's going to bring some home. This is Diesel's favourite thing. Look how big it is. It's gigantic. Got some lettuce leaves, some baby spinach for the Aldi meatballs. What else? Two limes. I'm pretty sure I only ordered one lime, but we have two. That's okay. This was the replacement for the stir fry mix. That should still be quite yummy. Got some celery to make a stew. Nice veggie stew. I'll have to get some red wine. I don't have any. And then four tomatoes because I want to make this pasta recipe I found online. I think it's called pasta pomodoro and it's basically tomatoes, olive oil and basil as like the sauce with pasta so sounds delicious and healthy and that is everything i got in the food shop this week i'm just going to put it away now and then yeah i think i really want to try these falafel bites they are wildly good and they have tahini garlic and parsley in them so sounds yummy Oh, it also says stand against dry falafel. Um, it would be great if they're not dry because that is really hard to find. Okay, let's put this away. I need to hide this from Kyle because if I don't, when we try to eat waffles on the weekend or on a day that he's on late shift, it'll all be gone. Oh, I know. In here. He won't look in there.
done. That's everything put away except the wraps and the falafels. Okay, I've just washed my hands. Put some leaves on. I always like to cut my tomatoes. There you go, Diesel. One for you. What's the date on them? If you can hear a sound, it's Diesel chewing on them. Okay, so I think I'll save those for him. Today, oh yeah, beautiful. These are quite big. I'm just going to put them all through there. They smell good. Oh, don't tell me they have seeds in them. Should hopefully be okay. Chopping them in half so it's a little bit easier to eat. I might have a bit of a taste. Hmm. I would still say they're kind of dry, I'm not going to lie to you, but that's why hummus is so good. Right. Diesel, do you mind? Oh my goodness. Let's wrap this up. And there we go, that's lunch. I just need to give my dog another tomato good boy that's enough for you okay I'm gonna get a knife and fork and eat this all up diesel going crazy over your carrot is that good <laughs> it's everywhere it must be good you're wagging <laughs> you're a funny boy Make your piglet sounds. I gave him the end piece of the carrot because I'm going to try and make a carrot mug cake and hopefully it turns out good because my falafel in the wrap, it was okay, but it could have been better. I would give the actual falafel bites themselves maybe like a six and a half out of ten and then the wrap I would say like a seven and a half because the tomatoes and the hummus in there were so good Diesel's just sniffing around for more carrot crumbs now and I'm going to show you what goes into this mug cake I really hope that it works because carrot cake is one of mine and Kyle's favorite things to eat so if this version works, I'm going to have to work out how to make a gluten-free version. Just put the carrot into a microwave-proof mug. Might just get those little bits. Oh, it's really juicy after being grated. And I need to microwave it for one minute to soften it. One minute. A minute does seem like a long time, especially since I only have like a kind of microplane grater, so it's very fine. I think I will check it at like 30 seconds or something, just to make sure I don't burn it. Oh, never mind, there's only like 10 seconds left. Look at that. 
there. This recipe is on the Woolworths website, by the way, but I can link it below for you just in case you want to try it yourself. Roll the remaining ingredients in a small bowl, then fold in the carrot, transfer mixture to mug. Kyle's home early. What's the time? Quarter past two and he's home. Hmm. He's gonna be so jealous of my carrot cake and I don't even know if it's any good. I haven't tested it. Uh. Right, I'm gonna put all the other ingredients in here. A quarter of a cup of wholemeal flour. You're home know, early. Yeah. Did you have a nice day? Yeah. What's you got your hair cut? Yeah. I left it long to please you. <laughs> to please me? Oh, it looks nice. These look good. I reckon they'll be better than the Audi ones. The same thing. Hold up. Wow. You read my mind. I got falafel. They're different. They're not falafel. These are meatballs. Zucchini and lentil, but it's dark. Oh, it's pretty much the same thing. Can I have Why one? Why did you want them? Thank you. Oh, no, I wanted out the Audi meatballs to go in pasta. These are basically just falafel. No, it says you can pan fry them. Yeah, they're falafel. Spoons of Greek style yogurt. What's I'm making a carrot mud cake, uh, mug cake. Mm -hmm. You cook it in the microwave. I'm giving it a go, and if it's yummy, I'll have to work out how to make you the gluten free version. Oh, it's not gluten free. No, it's got wholemeal flour in it. A teaspoon <clears throat> of cinnamon. That's quite a lot. I'm going to do a bit less than a teaspoon. There we go. Half a tablespoon. Oops, that was more like a tablespoon. Oh, I won't put it all in. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder in. One teaspoon of vanilla. I've just got vanilla bean extract with the seeds. Mix all this together. So here's what the mixture looks like. It kind of reminds me of Soggy wheat bix a little bit. So now I just put it into the mug and fold the carrot through this mixture. Well, actually, I think I let me check. I think I add the carrot into here. Yeah, fold in the carrot. Okay, plop. <laughs> Okay, and then transfer back into the mug. I'm going to put this back in the microwave for another one and a half minutes. Really need to clean my microwave out. Mud cake is, I keep saying mud cake instead of mug cake. The mud cake is cooked. It's really hot though, so I'm going to leave it to cool while I finish packing this stuff away. And then I'll do a taste test. It smells like carrot cake. I'll let you know how it tastes. It's very like spongy texture. Like look at this. Hopefully that doesn't mean rubbery. I think it looks okay. 
Okay, here it goes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite the same. It's okay. I would say definitely add the full amount of cinnamon and maybe go for a tablespoon of the maple syrup as well. I wish I had that like um, is it cream cheese frosting stuff that goes on the top? I feel like that would really enhance it a lot too, but it's not too bad. I can kind of taste that Greek style yogurt, not gonna lie. I might have a little bit more and then go brush my teeth. And I really want to give you a garden update. Our veggie garden is going pretty well. Last time I checked anyway. Um, yeah, I want to show you the progress we've made with the tomatoes because I think last time I showed you they were like flopping down and they were a bit sad. Didn't eat the rest of the mud cake, not gonna lie. Look at this boy. Oh, his favorite. So nice of you to share with him. Lucky boy, look at that tail. He's grumbling at you. He's telling you off, like hurry up and feed me more. Oh. He's not as good at catching anymore. It could have to do with his arthritis in his elbow too. <laughs> Was that good? I don't have any. Oh, he's coming to find you for more blueberries. Hold on, sorry, buddy. Oh. Right, Kyle's on the PlayStation. So I thought, while I remember, I'll bring you out and show you how the veggie garden is looking. We've actually been using this net, which is good because they're expensive. Here we go. I think I've still only got the one strawberry flower. Look, it's a red one. Little baby strawberry in there. This strawberry plant is humongous, but it doesn't seem to have any flowers. And then my violas are doing very well. There's some really beautiful flowers. And then look at the tomatoes. They've come back to life. It's a winter miracle. And we've got heaps. These are actually the little Perino tomatoes you get from Coles and they're quite expensive to buy so I'm pretty happy about it to be honest with you look at them all it's just heaps hopefully they'll be ripe soon we can pick them Diesel and I can have a feast and then over here this was just like one tiny little stem that's a tomato plant it's going crazy in here. Marigolds need to cut the dead flower heads off. And then my pansies, look at that color. Oh, it's beautiful. And those marigolds are doing very well over there. All right, I need to give this a water. Mm, I'm not sure about this basil plant. It's got some new growth here, but other than that, might be just about done for the year. I haven't bought these ones before. Finest Riverland Gormand Gormandine. Thanks for getting the oven dish out. I got the oven dish out for me. Just give these a wash actually because I'm paranoid. They're kind of long. These are probably not the right ones for baked potatoes. Also, when is the next season of Bridgerton coming out? Never thought those words would come out of my mouth. Some sea salt. <coughs> Sprinkled that on there. Also, Queen's Gambit was amazing. I think that's enough salt. I'll put that in the oven.
having this while I'm waiting for my potatoes. Thanks, Lucky, for leaving behind your pot noodle. I'm so hungry. I don't think I can wait for like an hour. And it's only six minutes past the test. Oh yeah, this looks good. These are one set two. Watching ye old gossip girl again. It's Bridgerton. Oh, my dinner was so delicious. Oh, the windows are like frosted up. Condensation. It's freezing cold. Hey, Diesel. I need to clean up all my mess from earlier where I unpackaged this water flosser. I'm about to go and use it now actually and just wash off my makeup, get my jammies on and I think we're going to watch a bit more Bridgerton on the laptop in here with the heater on. Nice and cozy. I'm going to end this vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next one. Good night. I can't tell if that's a curlew or the neighbor's kids. I think it was a curlew. Alright. I'm gonna go now.